Hi, this is Mark again on our series of videos about European Interparties Patent Review, otherwise known as Opposition before the European Patent Office. Um, in the last video we looked at preparing for filing an opposition and we looked at the ground of opposition of sufficiency of disclosure. That is a ground of opposition which is really successful but it's still worth considering because on formality grounds you can knock out a patent even if otherwise you may have got no issue in terms of novelty or inventive step. So what's the second ground that I'm going to look at and that is so-called added matter. Now I mentioned this in the video regarding um, pre-grants whereas if you're the proprietor you've got to really be quite careful that the claims in particular don't have subject matter which extends beyond the application originally filed. So for example, if in an application is originally filed, you mentioned uh, a number of components of a communication system, you had a transmitter uh, and a receiver, and you had a, a processor, for example. Well, if in during that prosecution into that claim had crept an amplifier, for example, wherein the um, receiver has an amplifier and that communicates the signal to the, the processor, then that might be an example of added matter, something that wasn't mentioned in the application originally filed. Now, as an opponent, this is real gold dust because what you end up with is the so-called Article 123 trap where you will assert, ah, there's added matter, this amplifier should not be there, there's no support for it originally, so you would assert, ah, that text cannot be there, it must be removed. The problem is, is once you remove it, a claim which was to a transmitter, a receiver, the receiver having an amplifier to a processor, it no longer has the amplifier, well it could actually have other things. It might not require the amplifier at all, or it might even actually have some sort of attenuator, for example. In other words, you would end up with a claim which was broader than that granted, and that is not permissible. So here, one of the key elements in opposition, and all, of, all opponents will, will really go for this, and that is to try and find an element of the application as originally filed which is not supporting the granted claims. Because if you get that, then you can quite easily knock a patent out, regardless about novelty, inventive step, or sufficiency of disclosure. So that's something which is worth a lot of time and effort, even if it is, in principle, a fairly, you could think of as a minor issue. But if it knocks the patent out, then that's good enough. So you'll often see in many opposition proceedings, a lot of time, maybe several hours in the proceedings, will be spent on going very pedantically through these small changes in the text which have occurred during prosecution. Because if they can find one of those which can't be remedied, then there are problems for the proprietor. So, we've now covered um, pre-filing, we've uh, pre-grant, we've covered um, post-grant, and thought about preparing for an opposition. And we've thought about sufficiency of disclosure and added matter. The next two videos are going to now look at novelty and inventive step and how they can be used in preparing an opposition. Thank you.